What's going on guys, Flash Jackson Road to the show here, and this footage is from the live stream I did yesterday, and if you did not watch that one, or did not hear about what I was doing in the Flash Jackson series, I am really revamping it a little bit because I've been struggling so much, I mean 242, 245, but as I talked about in the stream, that is a product of me playing well at the end of the years, and so people were suggesting in the last video that I take guest pitch off because I really don't use it the right way, and I get negatively penalized when I end up guessing wrong. And so I did not understand, I didn't realize that, I guess. And so I, I'm taking guest pitch off. I understand my settings were wrong when I just showed you guys here in the video, but I changed it later in the first game. And then I was also going to change up the look for Flash Jackson because we want to turn around his career. New look, new player essentially. Well, didn't change any of his attributes really or his height or weight or anything like that. But um, it's going to be a, a revamped Flash Jackson, I guess. Changing his look a little bit. People said the stirrup socks had to go. I was a big fan of the stirrups. But uh, I just had to go with the baggy pants now. And I changed up his batting stance as well. I mean, I like Sean Rodriguez's stance, but I thought we had to change things up as I try to turn around Flash Jackson's career and eventually get him to the MLB. And some people in the stream were not predicting I would make it there until 2026. So I got to make it there before, like, my 23rd season in the league. And I found a stance I liked really early in this stream. I thought it would take me a little while and we'd be looking at a lot of um, stances. But I only got to the W's and I started at the very back. I don't know why I started at the end, but I did. And I went to the W's and found Brandon Wood. And so guys, we're going to see now if Flash Jackson's career can be turned around by the new changes. No more guest pitch. You're not going to see that anymore. And so first at bat is a pinch hit appearance and Flash down the left field line rips it. But it's going to be foul. Just foul and that makes the count 0-2. And, and then the pitcher deals curveball away. We'll take that one. My eye has to get a little bit better on its own without guest pitch helping me out at all. And then I got to swing at that one. It goes up the middle, bounces off the mound a little bit. And a great play by the second baseman. But his off-balance throw takes the first baseman off the bag, and it's an E4 charge to the second baseman. So Flash does not get a hit in his first attempt. Next game now is a pinch hit appearance again as Flash comes in with new Brandon Wood batting stance. 1-1 count. Takes that fastball up. And the score is 8-5. to five. Not actually sure why he is pinch hitting. And then swing at that fastball. Those high fastballs, they always look pretty good. But a lot of times they're out of the zone. And then 2-2 two and two slider away. Man, that pitch is so deadly. It's always deadly. But I checked the replay. And I did actually miss this slider. Unlike the last video or one of the last episodes I posted. Where I had Flash Jackson swinging right through a baseball. Literally right through it. Like a hologram. And so finally we get Flash Jackson and some batting practice. I can play with his stance a little bit more. And we're ready to start his first game as the new Flash Jackson. So I hope that Flash Jackson's career can be continued and that I can keep having fun with this series. And here in the first inning with two men on Flash up the middle, but a great play by that second baseman behind the back, and they turn two. So 0 for 3 so far for Flash. And look at this play. It seems like ridiculous plays always happen to me in games like that. And at AAA nonetheless, and so now we're in the top of the third inning, 2-2 two, two count, and Flash takes that fastball low. That one's a tough one to lay off, but it didn't really look that good to me. 3-2, and two, got a swing at that, and Flash puts a good swing on it into the left center gap. That one's going to be extra as it rolls to the wall, and Flash is going to be in with an RBI double. That was a great swing on that baseball. I like this stance a lot, and I love the way it looks when you hit a ball into the gap like that. Now we're on the top of the eighth. It's a 4-2 lead for us. Flash back up the middle. That's a single, and that's going to get move the runner to second base, and so two hits for Flash in his first start. Now we're in the outfield, and Flash, you know, he's kind of feeling good. Had a couple of good swings this game, and he forgot how to feel the baseball. He walked very casually, jogged very casually to the baseball, and he missed it. So Flash can't let the success get to his head just because he had a couple hits in this game. Top of the 10th now, we're in extra innings, and Flash hits one to left field, but a diving catch from the left fielder will negate the hit. That was a good swing, but it was just right to the left fielder, and he was able to make the diving catch. So next game now, next start. We've got a submarine pitching lefty, and Flash hits a liner to first base. So you can see some of these outs he's even getting. They're at least good at bats, good swings, and that's what I wanted to see because for a while I was just making poor contact all the time at the plate. The outs that we're getting were not even challenging hits, and the hits were not even all that impressive. So... Batting 200, low 200s is not acceptable. Got to turn it around, and we're hoping that this change here can bring some new life to Flash Jack so he can find himself in an MLB uniform soon. And here's something that's going to help. There's a single up the middle. That's going to score a run, and Flash is in with an RBI single. And he also took a walk in this game. And I think that taking guest pitch off really helped me a lot. I was able to identify balls a lot better, and I think I was just a better hitter, despite this strikeout here in this cutter. I mean, I had a couple of bad swings this episode, but I thought I was improving, so 
we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. We have a runner on first. He's going to go steal second. The game could have been over right there. There is two outs. Flash is a last chance, and Oklahoma City is down by one. And look at Flash crank this to left field. It's behind the left fielder's head off the wall. And that is going to be the tying run. And who cares if Flash gets out here? I mean, they got the ball back into the infield really quickly. Flash has 68 speed. Whatever, we blew the save successfully. And so we go to the bottom of the 12th now, see if Flash can do some damage. Swing at a high fastball, then take the low fastball. So working the count, 2-2 two and two now. Got to swing at that right over the middle of the plate. And Flash hits a single the other way and represents the winning run on first base. Now move to second base, full count. Ball hit to first base. Looks like it goes off a bag or something like that. It pulls the first baseman away, and then the bases are loaded with one out. 0-2 oh, pitch. That one's hit deep in the outfield to the right fielder. He's back and way up, and Flash is going to tag up, and he is going to run 90 feet and win the game for Oklahoma City. So Flash blows the save, gets the game-winning run, goes 3 for 6 with 2 RBIs. Well, it's not the player of the game, but we'll take it. Flash Jackson, last four games, batting 357. It's a small sample size, but it's something to be happy for right now as Flash hits another gapper to left center. That's going to score another run as Flash this time will actually get in with a double. They didn't get the ball back into the infield as fast. And so Flash, I mean, I've noticed some improvement. I think taking guest pitch off is really the secret to having fun in this game again for me because I was really not enjoying Flash Jackson with all the struggling. Like, I can handle the struggling, but I wanted to see progression. I was not noticing progression. So it was like a defeating purpose, I guess. It seemed making him better at his attributes, and it seemed like I wasn't really getting much better after 800 and some at-bats with him. And I don't know why I never thought of this before. I know I'm not a great hitter in this game, but I never thought that it was because of guest pitch why I was bad. I thought guest pitch was helping me, and that without it, I would be much worse. But I guess guest pitch brings you a lot of penalties when you're wrong, and I should have never played with guest pitch in the first place. I mean, I grew up playing like all-star baseball, MVP baseball, played some 2K on the PlayStation 2. I never used guest pitch. I thought it was a horrible mechanic. I didn't like it at all, but I thought that it was the only way I was going to hit a decent average. But that is far from the truth, guys. I think I can make Flash Jackson a much better player with no guest pitch. I think this new era is going to bring some new interest to this series, especially from me. And I'm going to go back to making some more frequent episodes. did not want this series to die, and I wasn't going to end it just because he was struggling and I was not playing very good baseball. So thank you to everybody in that last video that said, Hurricane, take off guest pitch and notify me of all the penalties that come with it because I did not know. And that's a good thing I read the comments last video because you guys have rejuvenated my interest in this series. And I'm excited to bring you guys more Flash Jackson entertainment. So we're here in the bottom of the seventh, by the way. Last at bat of the episode. And look at Flash take this one deep. Left center and off the top of the wall. That's going to be two RBI double for Flash Jackson. He actually had a lot of extra base hits in this episode. And with that at bat, he brought his, well, his average for this episode in this stream. I was 8 for 25, which is a 320 average. It's a small sample size, but it is noticeable improvement, even though it was just a few games. So thank you guys for watching. Watching. Thank you guys for rejuvenating my interest in the Flash Jackson series. The guest pitch era is over and it is not coming back. So I thank you guys very much and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Flash Jackson Road to the Show.